Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my little experiment with um, spray paint and my homemade titanium dioxide powder. And I'm doing some laser engraving on tiles. Now this is the famous uh, Norton tile method. Basically I'm just using different um, method of spraying. So this one here is spray paint by Painter Touch. Um, Rustrodium, I think it's quite a famous brand, quite highly recommended. And then I got the zinc galvanizing spray and then I have the titanium dioxide. So as you can see, I've got different results here, but if you want to know how I do it, stick around and um, let's get on to the video. So I'm trying to find the smallest laser dot um, for my X20 Pro. And I have done two lines from here to here, and you can see that the board is actually slanted. The laser uh, dot and the distance from the lens is progressively get smaller. Smallest dot is actually at the highest point, so there's no gap between the um, the wood and the filter. I call it the filter, the filter um, housing. Obviously, uh, when you get a machine, it asks you to use this one as a spacing distance, but this is more for cutting, I think. But for engraving, I actually find that the finest point is actually right there. And over here, I got three uh, white tiles. Now these are my scrap tiles because like they have uh, broken edges. I kind of get them for free. And I got a zinc galvanizing spray. This one is Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. A lot of people have good um, results from using that. And titanium dioxide like my previous video. And that has been uh, mixing with acetone and you spray on the towel. It's hard to tell you how much you need to do it because like, you know, there is no exact formula. Like you can see that the bottom is white and that's the titanium dioxide. And if I lift this up so you can see it, I try not to handle it too much because the slightest touch will actually get rid of the coating. Um, you know you have done a good coating when you have no more shine left anywhere on the towel. All of them has been done yesterday, so they have enough time to dry. So here is the O2 Creative free um, website to create your uh, light burn test file. I have chosen this one here, so and then I import into the light burn. Hopefully it will give me a range of uh, power and a range of speed. Again, I'm doing it so you don't have to. I am just testing out all my material. So first one, we have the zinc galvanizing spray and um, the machine is ready to burn. So I'm going to press start. Okay, uh, according to preview, this is going to take about half an hour. I mean, the, um, I know it's silver background at the moment, so we need to clean it up. But it does look like that even the blackest of all, it's not really well defined in terms of uh, the pattern. Well, we'll see. We still got a few more tests to run and when I finish I'm going to show you guys the details. Straight away I can tell the spray white paint give a better black than the zinc spray. The zinc spray is still like a silver. I mean until I clean it I won't know but just looking at this uh, engraving I think uh, the white paint does give a very good result. So this is the titanium dioxide coating and he's doing the engraving test. I've done the interval test this time because I already have it open on my light burn. But if you can see, the amount of black on there is really, really good. At the higher power, you kind of vaporize everything, including the top of the tiles. So that is like a crater and it's all white. And I guess for the best result will be somewhere in there, but we need to clean it up before we can see what the actual result is. And I'm already preparing the next uh, batch of tests. So I've done the uh, engraving test, I've done the interval test. So according to each of the spray, I'm going to choose the best setting and attempt to make something fantastic. Finally, I've done all the tests I need to do. So starting with titanium dioxide, I think this one here uh, gives the best black. The rustodium spray, which is right there. And then you got the silver zinc galvanizing spray. Okay, so let's do some uh, cleaning up. So this is a zinc spray. Now this one here should just wipe off. Or not. Okay, so you scrape it off. You know what this reminds me of? This one reminds me of, um, you know, the scratch card. 
You know the one that you scrape and then you get a prize at the end? No, you know what? And you can tell that even the writing is not really clear. So these are 4,000 millimeter per minute. Now let's move on to the white paint. Now this one is going to be more difficult to come off because this is like a proper spray paint. As you can see, it's already melt, um, dissolving the paint. Okay, so this is the white paint. Okay, so we have the zinc spray, we have the white paint, and now we have this, which is the um, titanium dioxide. Now this one, cleaning up wise, you can see I've got a bucket here. All I need to do is just rinse it. It just come off so easy. So there you have it, zinc spray, white paint, and titanium dioxide. Now this one definitely the blackest out of all the other ones. They are engraved on, so you cannot scrape them off. So from this, hopefully we will find out like uh, which is the best quality and which interval to use as well. Okay, so this part is probably very subjective because obviously I'm here looking at it. Might be different from you guys viewing it on the screen. 2500 millimeter per minute at 50% power. I find that one the most definition in terms of the light and the dark. And so does the 4000 millimeter per minute at 80% power. So these two here looks almost perfect to me. Um, the interval test I tested with 4000 millimeter per minute and 0 0.1 um, interval tends to give me the most uh, even dark without the banding. Moving on to the white paint, this one here, um, nowhere as dark as the titanium dioxide, but nevertheless, it does show quite well in terms of a picture. Um, if I just prop it up. So here, this one, I chose that one over there. Again, I is um, comfortable with the 4000 millimeter per minute. Uh, this one tends to give me, again, the best uh, light to dark. And um, 0 0.1, again, interval at 40%. So this one is quite conclusive in terms of which one I really wanted. Uh, moving on to the zinc spray, uh, I probably won't use this one again um, purely because the image is just too smudgy. I mean, I do have some good interval tests right here. I chose, I think, um, 60 power at 4000 and 0 0.1. So um, saying that, I am preparing new tiles um, for uh, engraving with each of the setting that I chose. So here I will attempt to um, edit a photo for my engraving test. So this is image R, and you go to upload and then find the photo that you want. I already picked the one that is a trip to New York. I think that will be a good test. Now this takes take some time because this is an online a web version. You can pay to get a uh, offline version but I'm just going to use the free version. So here, me and my wife, we went to New York, this Empire State Building. So first we copy it because my tiles are square. As you can see, every time I click something, it takes a long time before it will action because now you're not using your computer power. You're actually sending the instruction to the server and then the server will work it out for you and etc, etc. Now my tiles at the moment, they are 20 by 20, so 20 centimeters so that's 200 mil but what i will do is i do 205 mil so here where you go like you got other editing function and then you need to choose the material so here i'm doing norton white towels so after material you choose um, white towels norton so it will end up something like this not to worry, it doesn't look right because you are zoomed out at the moment. So if you zoom all the way in, you can tell that now they have um, created a, a picture with just dots. 
Now, how close the dot or how many dots is uh, will will make the black. Then you go to download, and then you download BMP. Okay, then you go to Lightburn, and then you go to download. I downloaded it twice, but no worry. It's just that. So this is how your laser will create the photo. Obviously, when you look afar, it looks like a photo. But when you look really, really close under the microscope, it's just black and white, black and white, black and white. And then, now we have to put in the, um, the power setting. 4,000 mm per minute at 40% power now because we already uh, digitized uh, the photo i'm going to do pass through so light burn is not going to um, rejiggle the picture it's just going to burn the dots that we've already done speed is 4000 sorry i'm typing with one hand can't really see my keyboard here so 4000 and power was 40 percent interval was 0 0.1 now we just align that with my tile and we are good to go. Alexa, turn on laser. Okay. Alexa, turn on the extractor fan. Okay, let's do one more time. Let's do the framing. Now, because I choose 205, the laser now is going outside of the square. Now, because this is a broken piece, I'm going to have a missing corner over there, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I know the image is going to be inside the towel, and I'm going to press start. So white spray, and this is the image which comes off. It looks nothing like the photos, but um, let's clean it up and see um, what, what we get. Again, I'm going to use acetone. My spray bottle just gave up, so I'm just going to like sprinkle some acetone and clean it up. Okay, and this is the after cleaning. Obviously, um, it looks a lot better. But I got some serious uh, case of uh, banding issue. I don't know if my interval is correct or maybe it is too fast at 4000. Maybe I need to slow it down a little bit. But I mean, on camera, it looks really good. But it's only when you look really, really close that you can see the flaws of the engraving but overall I think this is not bad all right so here we have a couple more towels to uh, see um, white spray paint this is clean off already so this is engraved not the best black color that I wanted but nevertheless it does look okay but it lost a lot of details over here so this is definitely not um, usable or standard this one is the zinc galvanized spray and I haven't cleaned up yet but um, as you can see, it doesn't look like a real picture to me. And then you got this one here, which is my home brew um, acetone with titanium powder. And it turns out almost perfect, apart from this bit here, where the laser is a bit too close to the towel. I think it scraped off the top uh, part of the powder, so that become like a, a defect. But apart from that, I've, I love the details on this particular one. And these haven't been cleaned up yet, so I'm not sure what it looks like once we clean it up. So again, I'm going to use some acetone and um, dissolve some of the paint, and then we can um, clean it up. Uh, my spray bottle has uh, finally gave up, so uh, this is the acetone bottle. So I'm just going to pull some on it. And then quickly wipe it off as fast as I can, because the acetone evaporates very quickly. Now, a lot of people do this cleanup every day and they have no issue with it. But for me, I think this is a waste of acetone, in my opinion. Despite my best effort of uh, cleaning up, as you can see, the, the zinc spray doesn't really work in terms of um, marking the uh, tiles with black. And this is so faint that I don't think it really works. So I think the spray Galvanizing spray is going to retire into the drawer, whereas the white spray maybe still can uh, fine tune it a bit more. So how about my homemade uh, titanium powder here? So I got a bucket of water right here. I'm just going to rinse it off. 
Now you can hear the cloth is actually scratching against the surface of the towel, so there's no longer a smooth surface. The titanium um, dioxide actually engraved now onto the towel, and it won't come off. And I think this gives me the best result so far. Um, like I say, you do have to handle it really carefully. Like any touch or scrape on top of the towel, the image will not come out perfect. Unlike, unlike uh, the spray paint that goes on the towel, it does have a hard coating. But um, when you spray on with acetone, it leaves behind just a fine layer of uh, dust powder on the towel. I really like this. There is a slight banding issue, which I can fine tune. But apart from that, I'm really happy with this. And the other thing with the titanium dioxide powder is that hopefully one day I can recycle them because I rinse it out with water and the powder always sinks to the bottom. So maybe one day I can scoop that out, dry it and put it back into the titanium bottle like here. I don't know if you can see it, but there is actually two water line. One is the acetone on top. The other one is the powder on the bottom. By all means, this is not perfect, but this is close, very, very close to what I wanted to do on my um, X20 Pro. I hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye-bye. So after you rinse your towel off the um, di titanium dioxide, this is the bucket of water with all those powder settled in the bottom of the bucket. So one day I might be able to salvage them and use them again as a spray. So nothing go to waste.